Today, I am gonna solve one of the most common issues that I see every single day on the lesson tee that amateurs make. In fact, I bet over 90% of you watching this make this mistake and you don't even realize it. Welcome back to another episode of Three Minute Thursdays, where every single Thursday I post a video on a complicated topic simplified down in just three minutes. Now, your time is valuable. So without further ado, let's shut the timer up on the screen and let's get started. So what does this issue look like? Well, at address, we will see amateur golfers with irons point the shaft at the belt buckle. Now, both of their arms will be rotated to the left and that gets them in a position from the downline view where you can see the right arm gets over the left in a dominant position and the shoulders point to the left. Now, from here, it is going to be incredibly difficult to control the face. So as a byproduct, you're now gonna to wanna to swing out to in with an open club face. From here, you're gonna to have to throw angles, early extend, chicken wing and scoop very hard to compress the golf ball. You're not gonna be able to compress the golf ball from there unless you make some drastic compensations. Here's what we're looking to achieve as an end result. So we are looking to see here that the shaft will point anywhere from the belt loop to the left hip. The left arm hangs in at roughly a 45 degree angle. The trail arm is more under. And then if I place my hands on the grip, you can see from the downline view how the left forearm is visible on top of the right. Now from here, I can control the club face so much more. The club wants to shallow. I can get it into a great delivery position. It's going to encourage weight shift, rotation, sharp lean and I'm going to be able to release the club all because I've positioned my anatomy in a different position. So let me quickly explain why this anatomy actually helps us square the face up. So if I just let my arms hang you can see they hang at a 45 degree angle. Now if I take this poor position my arms are technically rotated to the left so if I bring them up and I relax them they turn back to the right. If I do that with a golf club in my hand I am opening up the club face poor results from there. If I get into this good position, I've technically rotated my arms a little bit more to the right. I then grab the club from there, bring it up. You can see if I relax, it's gonna close the face down. Now, actually, a lot of people goes, well, aren't I just gonna hook it from here? No, and the reason for it is because shaft lean is actually an opener of the club face. If you wanna have any shaft lean, your club face actually has to be closed in order for you to allow yourself to have shaft lean. So now we know what we're looking for. Now we know why it's important. Here's how we find that position. Grab something that resembles a steering wheel. I've got a cone here, a plate, a Frisbee, anything like that. Place the club on your leg. Now from here, place your thumbs up and turn that steering wheel to about a 45 degree angle to your right. Bend forwards, then drop the cone or the Frisbee or whatever it is. Now in this position, then grip the club here and you can see my arms hanging at this 45 degree angle. Lead arm in the club in one straight line. My right arm is turned under. So from the downline view, you can see the right arm is lower than the left. Now a second way to do this is simply get into your shot, add some shaft lean, hang your left arm down, turn it to a 45 degrees, then grip the club. Turn your right palm so it points away from you, bring your arm across and then just grip the club just like so two ways to achieve the same result. Once you've then done that, then it's time to hit a goal shot just like this. 